first memory of playing football would have been with my brothers, literally just in the garden. Pace has always been a massive part of my game. What a goal from their top scorer, Ebony Salmon! If you're performing and you're playing well and you're scoring goals, then England are always going to be watching. Salmon scores. What else did you expect? My name is Ebony Salmon and this is In The Making. Ten minutes away is where I kind of trained and did all my football growing up. Before I took football seriously and I did athletics, 100 metre sprint and 200 metre sprint training. I'm quite quick and I'm quite quick now, so I think doing the actual training for it kind of makes it a massive part of my game now. When I was younger, obviously, there weren't many teams for me to play in, especially girls' teams. My dad knew that I wanted to play football and he knew that there weren't many options for me out there, so he decided to create a team for me with other players in, which ended up being a boys' team that I played for. I think in the back of your mind you could just see that she was quick, but we never thought that she would be a sprinter. The original plan was to set up a girls' team and we couldn't get the numbers to get the team going, so we then went sideways and then we ended up setting up a boys team and that's how it all started really, Ebony playing in a boys team with a couple of other girls. There was definitely weekends when I regretted being coached by my dad because he'd always say things that I didn't agree with. It must have been tough for him trying to kind of coach me as his daughter. It's crazy being back here to be honest, it's not changed one bit, it brings back a lot of good memories. A few bad memories when I was having to train in, in the winter nights but this is one of the main places where it started for me. I did score a lot of goals when I was younger and I think that is one of the things that probably got me picked up by Aston Villa. When I went into girls football I was kind of ahead of the rest as in physicality wise. I finished the season with Aston Villa and that's when Casey Stoney got in contact with my agent and she just said that she was interested in me. It kind of all sunk in when I went to Old Trafford to sign the contract and then it all became kind of real. When I got released from Man United, it was hard to deal with and it was at a point where I didn't really know what I wanted to do next. At that point, I was really down. But I think it's also one of the years that made me kind of the person that I am now. It made me a lot stronger, it made me a lot more resilient. After a tough year at Man United, moving to Bristol was definitely what I needed. Looking for Ebony Salmon, it's an absolutely brilliant ball. Can she finish it? Yes, she can! What a goal! People always ask me what's one of my biggest highlights at Bristol and it's definitely scoring the winning goal against Man United because I think that was probably one of the moments that proved to everyone that they were wrong. I had two good goal scoring seasons and getting my first Lionesses call up so I think my two years at Bristol was probably a massive part of my career. And England are going to give another debut this time to Ebony Salmon. It was a great moment. I had visions of when Ebony started playing. I had visions when managers used to shout, you've let her go again, pick her up. The ultimate goal, obviously seeing Ebony out there trying to find her way in football and to get the England call up on top of that was just, I couldn't handle it. I mean, I'm probably, I'm getting the emotion now, but um, yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. I knew that my contract was going to be up in the summer with Bristol and for me this was always going to be the right time to move and I think sitting down with my family and we all decided that this was probably going to be the best move at this point. I found out quite a bit about the club and their ambitions and they're quite similar to mine and I think that's one of the main reasons that made me want to make the move over to America. Seven now! Seven scores! It's beyond her wildest imagination! That's probably one of the main goals I've set for myself, is to go there and score as many goals as possible and perform well week in, week out. At the end of the day, no matter what club you're at, if you're performing and you're playing well and you're scoring goals, then England are always going to be watching. Great to hear from Ebony Salmon, who's been part of the England squad for their World Cup qualifiers. That was actually the first of our In The Making series, and we've got loads more of those to come. But first... It's time for last minute winner. 